Universal banking, that's the combination of retail banking and investment banking in the same group, ought to be a great thing. Think of all the benefits of diversification and the lower costs of funding that that will bring. Think also of the cross-selling benefits. JP Morgan, the big US universal bank, estimates that there are between six and seven billion dollars per year of benefits from cross-selling. That's selling investment banking products to, to its retail and business customers and vice versa. That six to seven billion dollars is a third of its annual net income, well worth having. But somehow shareholders in these banks aren't feeling the benefits. Take a group of five big universal banks, Barclays, Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan Chase, Citigroup and Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And over the past five years, they have produced an average return on equity between them of just 5%. That's well below their cost of equity and also well below what specialists manage. If you look at Goldman Sachs, the specialist US investment bank, or Wells Fargo, which is more of a specialist in retail banking, they both manage returns on equity of over, in double digits, over 10% over the past five years. So really, it's time for the big universal banks to think about specialising. And there can be benefits for shareholders. UBS, the Swiss bank, a few years ago decided to heavily cut back its investment bank. Since then, its valuation has gone from 0.8 times book value to 1.4 times book value. Compare that to the universal banks, which generally trade at about 1 point times book value or below, and you can see the benefits of specialisation. I'm Oliver Ralph, and this has been Three Numbers with Lex.